welcome to a first tutorial for 3ds max um, there is going to be plenty of these tutorials um, in the next coming days there will be tutorials getting used to max for people that aren't so efficient with max you know don't really use it so this will be to get them used to the interface uh, the core modeling basic modeling you know all, all you need to know about it um, this tutorial itself is about basic cell shading uh, I put a very very basic model with a very crap texture on the screen right now as you can see it's uh, just a little like um, alarm post nothing major but I thought I'd use it for the example as we do have like these little wires and bits here it's again nothing major I just made this for the tutorial um, so what we're going to basically do is showing you how to do a basic cell shade now I am working on a game at the moment that is cell shaded and I use this technique pretty much for all the cell shading there's some cell shading I do a bit different um, but this is for a very basic cell shade so what we're going to do is, you're going to want to make your object, you want to go here to your modify, and it's already an edit poly. So what you're going to want is you're going to want it as an edit poly. You're going to, really you're going to want to name your object, this is a group of objects as the panel was made different, but you're going to want to name your object. So we'll name as alarm post, you want to know what you are, what you're making. So what we're going to need to do now is copy this project. So what you're going to do is control V. Now on this clone options that you've got here, you don't want instant. Instant is not going to work. Whatever you change on one will change on the other. What you want is copy. So it's two totally different ones. And then what we're going to call this is alarm copy. So that you uh, can define what's what. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put on this a push modifier, which is in our tool set here. And a push modifier there we go there's push so what push basically does is it pushes the polygons in a way depending on what way you're facing so as you can tell oh oh it's getting bigger oh god what's going on it's oh my so what we're going to want to do is set that back to zero for now so basically what we're going to want to do is we don't want it as big. So the way I'm going to test this is with this alarm post. That's the way I'm going to test this. We don't want it massive. So I want it a bit out like, let's say that for now. So it's a bit bit chunkier. Right, so what we're going to want to do is with this, we're going to want to press your M key to bring up your materials. And you're going to want to make, I've already pre-made one, but you're going to want to make a material and make your diffuse pitch black. The blackest you can make it. And then you're going to want to drag that on to your outside one. Sign to object. Nope. Sorry about that. Yes. So as you can see, it is a fully black alarm post. But don't worry. What you're going to want to do is... Hold on. You're going to want to go into your edit poly you're going to want to click element and you're going to want to make sure that everything is highlighted that's in a key so then what you're going to want to go is flip and that basically will flip which polygons around and you're going to want to click off and you can already sort of see it here that um, we just need to click back on to so your alarm copy, so we'll do it from here. So you want to go on your push again. And you're going to generally see. You're going to want to go out this time. Now this is a key point. If it's still showing black, what you're going to want to do is right click on the black one, so your outside one. You're going to want to go to object properties. On object properties, you're going to want to highlight back face cool and OK. Once you've done that, there you go. Look, where is it? It's gone. And now we can gently, gently pull it out a bit. And you've got that nice little soul shade. Now, obviously here, you can tell that it's a bit out. So what you want to do is work it around a bit. So you've got that nice, obviously certain places on this model with it being only a basic model aren't the greatest. But as you can see, it has got that that cell shaded effect of the black outline. Even this, I mean, you can again if you really want to. You can um, do it some more. 
Uh, but again, it depends on your object that you've got. Because you don't want to go, as you saw a minute ago, you, d you saw how fast, how far out it went a minute ago. Um, so, I mean, like there, there you go. That's like, that's just fine for me. And then we look at the top bit again. There you go. You got your outline. So that's a very easy way to do your uh, cell shaded. But always remember, if it ever shows black after doing the push modifier and other such items, then you can back face cull and it will do what I've just done. If it doesn't do that, let me know in the comments down below and we'll talk about it. But it should do that. It should back face, back face cull should turn it back to normal. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Um, very basic tutorial, very basic shapes, very basic polygons and all sorts. But that is because this is just a starter and I just wanted to put a quick model in there so that I can show you what I meant by back face cool and push modifiers and making sure that everything looks okay. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope this really helped anyone that wanted to do cell shading. Um, and in the next couple of days, we will have a, uh, a video up of a tutorial of the interface and other such stuff. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all next time. <laughs>